Hello guys, welcome back to Do This Point. We are in the middle of video lecture where we are discussing about the application development for Android. Like here we will be discussing about list view. List view as we already know is a vertical scrollable list that we uh, see or that we can have. The best part about list view is that you know the values in the, in the list view are automatically inserted using an adapter. That can pull uh, you know data from either from an array or from a database. So this is my, if this is my layout and this is how my list view would actually look like. This is some scrollable items that would be there available here. So these are some common attributes of list view. The first one being the ID. It's a unique identification of list at what list I'm actually I'm having. After this is a divider. We use divider when we want to divide or when you want to divide the elements in the list. Like if, if I want to have a drawable or a color that, that's dividing the two items in the list, then I can use this parameter. Then there's a divider height. Here we specify what should be the height of the divider that we are passing. Then is the entries, it specifies the resource through which you want to actually populate or you want to you know, get your list evolved or which, uh, which array, it, it can be an array or any resource like that, similar to the array that can be used to populate the elements of the list. Then after this, it's footer dividers. Uh, if it's by default value of the footer divider is true, it means that the footer and the list remain separate. But if you set to false, then the list view will not draw a divider, dividing line between the footer and the list. And the next is the header divider enabled in this one. If uh, it, it's also by, by default value is true, it means that there's a separation between the header and the list view. But if you select it false, the, mm, there would be no division as such between the header and the list view. So now let's quickly look how do we actually add a list view, how do we create a list view. If this is my XML file, I drag and drop a list view over here. So how do I get started? I first open up my Android Studio, uh, create an application in Android and then name it. After that, I go to the uh, by default content of, you know, uh, XML file. Here I add a list view. After adding the list view, I need to get, a, I need to go to my main.java. Here in the Java file, I, I need actually to first get an adapter, set the adapter, then only I would be able to populate the list. Don't worry about these code changes. These code changes would be done when we actually work on in our demo, when we work on the Android Studio itself. And after this, if you run the application, you would be able to see a list coming up in your Android phone or in your AVD. So now let's quickly go to our uh, Android uh, studios and in our laptops and see how a list actually works and how it actually looks like. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, as we've already discussed and seen about list view, what are the attributes of list view, what are the methods of list view. Now in this session, we would be actually seeing and drawing a list view on our own. So to start with, let's open up our project first in our Android Studio. In the project, first go down to your resource folder. In the resource folder, go down to your layout folder. In the layout folder, open up your activity underscore main dot xml file. Activity underscore main dot xml file, what you have to do is, you have to simply drag and drop the list view available to the screen. Now what happens is as we have already seen that list view is nothing but a list which is having some items. Now after doing this come down to the properties for the list view. Give the id for the list view as list. Remaining properties we left it as they are and let's quickly go to the text editor and see how the list view is looking on our screen. So this is our list view. It's in a linear layout and it's having a ID as list and the width and height are match parent and wrap content respectively because you want the width to match the parent but height should be the way it is having enough content in it. Now how do we get that which item or sub item are there in the list? So for that thing we make up a new XML from here and name that XML as activity underscore list view dot XML. This XML would be having the individual items for that particular list. Like this is having text view. Since we have designed a single list, I even have multiple elements or multiple points in this list. Since so I think it's very clear that since a single it's a single item list, so we are having only one text view available in it. Now let's go to the Java file which we made. Now 
I have made a Java file with the name list display dot Java. You can choose your own Java file. I have made the Java file as list display dot Java. I recommend you using this name. Otherwise, you can go on and continue using your own name. What we have done is I have defined a array array in Java named as country array, and I've put some by default values in this array. Now I came down and I made a object of array adapter. Now, as we have already discussed in the PPT, that you know, like an adapter is basically a bridge that is uh, you know operating between a data source and a UI. In our case, what is a data source? Data source is a country array, and the UI is the single element of this list view. So this. This array adapter is basically nothing but a small component, or it's a bridge, you know, acting as a bridge and combining both. As you already, as I have already told you that adapter, you know, the adapter view is actually uh, the super class for list view and grid view. So all these things would either be coming somewhere or the other from the adapter view. Now what we do is we made up the list view. We make the object of the list view. Typecast this object into the java object and get this list from our xml file into this particular list view i hope you remember why we are typecasting this object and why we are using find object by id and why we are using r.id.list so now after this is done nothing more is left we just simply use the list view object and call the sit adapter method in which we pass the array adapter that we were giving after this is done there won't be any further changes to be made into our uh, into your project and if you run the project like i am running it on my phone on moto g3 the output would be you would be getting a list view with the array of country's name so here's my output which is saying a list view demo and is saying the name of the countries as i have given it in my array defined over here so guys you can even go and make a custom list a separate topic which you will be discussing in the upcoming lectures but for now this was all about list that we have discussed also we have already discussed in our ppt or in our introduction session where where i told you about the attributes of list like id divider what's the height of divider and what are the entries that can be there how we can have you know the footers driver uh, the footers divider enabled and the header dividers enabled so uh, as a small uh, work try making a list with uh, all the cars manufacturers in the world this would giving you a small idea of how do you actually make up a list so guys thank you all for tuning in